Dinosaur Woods by George McClement. In four days, seven friends were going to lose their home. This troubled them greatly. They tried to speak to the people responsible, but for some reason, no one would listen. What are we going to do? asked Luke. We've tried everything. I know, said Rojo, but we can't give up. We need something new, something big, something amazing. So the friends started thinking and thinking and thinking until Rojo was struck by an idea. Actually, it was a piece of paper. That's it, he cried. We'll build a dinosaur. There's no way they'll tear down our home if they think a dinosaur lives here. Everyone agreed. The friends spent the rest of the day collecting materials. Then Rojo spent the next 36 hours working in total secrecy until the dinosaur was finished. How does it work? asked Jimbo. It was easy, said Rojo. First, we climb in. Second, we take our pre-assigned stations. And third, we scare away the guys on the bulldozers. Look, said Luke, someone's coming. Two men making their final demolition check entered the clearing. Quick, everyone to your station, shouted Rojo. Rojo took a deep breath. He crossed his fingers and then he roared a terrible roar. The men ran for their lives. As word of the dinosaur spread, scientists and news crews from around the world flocked to the tiny patch of woods. This is great, said Rojo. Nothing can go wrong now. And that's when it did. It was chaos inside the dinosaur. But the biggest problem? That came when Rojo failed to notice a cable on the ground. Crash! When the dust cleared, the friends found themselves surrounded by cameras and clipboards. Get ready for some shouting, said Rojo. And he was right. There was shouting, excited shouting, a big mouth jinx fox, a bronchial woodpecker, a Himalayan frost bear, crabby face punching rabbits, a left footed klutz deer, and a drop tail aider. It turned out that the friends were something called endangered, and in Milton's case, extinct. An important scientist declared the tiny patch of woods a protected site, and she named it Dinosaur Woods. So in the end, the small group of friends did have something to save their home. It wasn't new, it wasn't big, but it was amazing. They had each other. The end.